Hi Pisces, welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for all the information that you need about me, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of other stuff there also. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you to everybody for all your support, whether you're a new subscriber, whether you've reached out for personal reading, whether you've blessed me with an energy exchange as an A tip or donation to the channel is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for being a part of the channel's growth and helping me to get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So I just want to thank everybody so much. Okay, Pisces, let's see what we have for you for the month of November. Or this can be from whenever you see this till whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel. Um, even though I do date them, it's just so people know which order I uploaded them. But this is what you need to know right now from spirit. So these are your spirit messages. So take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. Every message may not be for you as it is a general collective reading for all the Pisces out there. It's not a personal reading, so please keep that in mind. So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. Can we believe we're in November already? I have a few more readings to do for November and then I'm starting December readings and I'll be decorating for Christmas already. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Where did the year go? I just don't know. All right, Pisces. Let's see what your messages are. Pisces for at this time. I'll say November, but I know at this time what spirit wants you to know. Feeling that one. What else? That one. One more for Pisces. Right. I'm going to pull three oracles from each deck and then we'll go over those and then I'll pull a tarot card for each oracle just to give a little more of a clearer message. All right, so let's get three of these for Pisces. Can we have three messages for Pisces, please? One, two, one more. One more for Pisces, please. Thank you so much. Oh, here's my kitty. Hi, my kitty. No jumping on the table. All right. Let's get three of these. And if you're wondering what he looks like, he's a big orange and white tabby. All right. So his name is Pumpkin. All right, so let's get three messages for Pisces. What do they need to know at this time? Three messages. One, two, one more for Pisces. Feeling this one. All right, let's see what we have for Pisces. All right, so we have three of summer, hummingbird. You have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. So this is all about, can be about reuniting, rejoicing, celebrating, uh, coming together, having a good time, friends, family. For some, celebrating something could be anything, some sort of, um, for some it could be an engagement, like it says here, wedding, graduation, birth announcement, or something else, a birthday or something, just coming together with either friends, family, co-workers or something, just celebrating and having a good time. So it's a good energy. So some something this month could even be Thanksgiving, maybe having a good time at Thanksgiving. If you're a little worried about Thanksgiving, you, know, you don't know how it's going to go for some reason. This is telling you that uh, everything will be fine. If it's not that, it could be something else. It could be a family reunion. Could be anything here, anniversary party, it could be anything. So we have nine of spring here, gazelle. You've worked hard and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Of annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry, you'll get through them just as you have in the past. So this is about uh, moving, keep moving forward with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. Um, usually in regular tarot, this depicts the wounded warrior you know, the tattered soldiers been through a battle, but they keep fight, fighting and they keep going on. 
So you may have um, maybe maybe a few challenges in this uh, celebrating or reuniting, or it could be a totally separate message that whatever you come across here coming up in the next month or so, there may be some challenging times. But this is telling you that you can persevere on and get through them, that you can keep going on. So now we have the Six of Winter here, Rescue Cat, Mixed Breed. The challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief, let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. So this is going forward in a much more positive, healing, clear direction. So this is moving forward in a more positive, uh, in a better direction. There may be some obstacles or challenges along the way, but you'll get there. You'll get to this more harmonious, peaceful, balanced place with the Six of Winter energy. Hmm, okay. So let's see what else do we have here. We have Reach for the Stars, Orchid. You deserve only the best, and this is all you should focus your attention on. So this is going for it, reaching for the stars, going after your dreams, ambitions, goals, something here. If you're thinking about going for something here, um, the Spirit's telling you to go for it, whatever that may be for you. And then we have past life healing, forget me not. The situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring healing into the present. And I got also got this for Gemini. I got this card for Gemini. I had used this deck for Gemini and they also got this card. So here comes my kitty again. What's the matter? So there may be, uh, if you don't know much about your past lives or anything like that, there may be something that you still need healing from, from a past life that may be triggering you in this life. I do offer past life readings, but I'm not a past life regression healer. There are YouTube uh, readers on, on YouTube, obviously, that do offer that, or even Facebook, Facebook groups. If you go into the spiritual groups, there are people that do offer past life regression healing. Okay, so what do we have now? We have Share the Message of Love, Daffodil. Rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. And I also got this, I think, for Gemini too. So, wow. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. You have a Gemini in your life some way, shape, or form. So this is, again, being in that high vibration and sharing your joy, your happiness, your love, your compassion, and being in that high energy with yourself and with those around you. And everybody will benefit from that. All right, so this is the Guardian Angel Oracle. So let's see what this has to say. Inspiration. So you may inspire people or you may have somebody around you that's inspiring you to do something in your life, to change something in your life, to go for something in your life as you have reached the star, reach for the stars here. So something inspiring in your life or you may be an inspiration to somebody and you may not even know that. Okay, so what do we have here? We have connections. So this can be family, friends. It could be about your business, career, uh, co-workers. Connections here. And then we have unity. So this is coming together uh, with friends, family, um, uniting, uh, lovers. Also with source, with uh, divine energy, with faith, spirituality, religion. And that kind of energy also. Hmm. Okay, so I feel here with the three of summer for some of you maybe coming together to discuss how you're moving on in life or something like that, and you're a little worried how that may, may go. And in those times, in, in your time moving forward, you may be, you know, it's happens, you may come across challenges, but you can get through them, you can fight, keep fighting on. And it will lead you to this much better place that you're heading to. This is telling you to go for it. Some of you may need to heal past lives. Something from your past life may be triggering you in this life. And share the message of love. I feel like it's telling you to stay in a high vibration. And, you know, within yourself and those around you. Sharing that happiness, joy, love, compassion, passionate, forgiving kind of energy. And again here, I feel like you may have somebody around you that is a 
really big inspiration to you, big part of your life, or you could be somebody's inspiration and not even know that. Can stay connected to your connections, your family, your friends, uh, business connections, coworkers, people are important to you that you could trust, value, have faith in, to stay connected to those people. And unity, again, you know, is also, I feel, goes with the with uh, these connections here. But unity, you know, is coming together um, with friends, family, you know, co-workers, loved ones, and with divine source, energy, healing, praying, faith, spirituality, religion, whatever it is for you. And that may be your inspiration, are your connections in your... Um, love for your faith and spirituality all right so let's clarify these messages for you pisces a lot of different messages here i kind of feel like these three almost go together in a way if they do for you if that made sense if not then take one each one individually but like i said only take the messages that resonate for you or you could come back and watch this in a few months and say oh okay now this resonates you know Everything may not resonate now, parts may now, and then months down the road, if you came back and watched this reading at that time, there may be parts that resonate for you then. So let's see what this Three of Summer is about for Pisces. What is this Three of Summer about for Pisces, please? The Six of Wands. So if you're worried, this is success, victory, things going well. So if you're worried about this reuniting or this reuniting energy or this celebration that may be coming up this month, this is telling you also things will be fine. Or if you're reconnecting with somebody and you're a little worried about how it might go, whatever here that you're celebrating, reuniting, reconnecting, whatever it is for you, Spirit wants you to know things will be fine. Things will be victorious, successful. Things will be fine so you don't have to worry about that. So what is these challenges? What is this nine of spring about? <laughs> the ace of pentacles. So this is a brand new beginning. So you may be starting out, starting off in a journey of a new beginning here. Could be anything. Could be moving. It could be a new job. It could be a new relationship. It could be, you know, maybe you've gotten some money and now you're not sure what to do with it. Maybe, you know, whatever here. But... This is a very prax practical, uh, stable new beginning here. So whatever could be something that you're fighting for also because the nine of spring is about you know fighting for what you believe in, fighting for something that you feel may be yours. It could be money. It could be anything here, something material, monetary. It could be a job you're fighting for. It could be anything. But Spirit wants you to know that you'll be fine and you'll have this divinely guided blessing coming into you whether it's a new job, whether it's a home, uh, money, or, or something here, you will be gifted this prosperity, wealth, and abundance in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so what is this six of... And it may not be exactly this month, like I said. It could be down the road. All right, so what is this six of winter about? Oh, my God. Clarified by the same card. Holy crap. So, yeah, definitely here. The Six of Swords on the Six of Swords. So, yeah, you're definitely, definitely going into a much better place. You're sailing into calmer waters. You're going into a much more balanced, healed, better place wherever you're going to. And it could correlate with this Ace of Pentacles, whether it's a move or a new job, a new relationship, or some sort of money that you're waiting on or something here that you're fighting for, something you're fighting for, you'll you'll be receiving and you'll be going in such a better place here with the six of winter, clarified by the six of winter. I mean, really, wow. Moving forward to a better place. Some of you could be moving. All right, so what is this reach for the stars about for Pisces? What is this reach for the stars? You deserve only the best, and this is all you should focus your attention on. Nine of Swords. So you got whatever this you're reaching for, you're striving for. Could be this new beginning here, this move, whatever it is for you. 
Maybe you're celebrating before you take off and, and move or whatever here. And you're, you're a little worried about that. Spirit's like, that's going to go fine. You're going to get this new beginning. Whatever you're fighting, waiting, vying for, you're going to get it. And you'll be going in a better place because you've got the double message there. But you have stress and anxiety and worry here. So whatever you're reaching for, whatever you're striving for, uh, Spirit wants you to know there's no need to stress and worry about it here. If you're up all night, you know, stress, worry, anxiety, fear. You may be fearing uh, this new beginning that you're uh, going for here. There's no need, no need to stay up at night and uh, be in that energy of fear, stress, and anxiety. Okay, so past life healing. The situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring healing into the present. So what are we healing or what needs healing from a past life? Let's see if we can get a message about that. So we've got the Page of Cups here. So it could have to do with children. Something with children or uh, something to do with love. Maybe you're triggered by your children in some way, or maybe maybe you can't have children, or maybe you want children and you haven't been able to have them yet, or maybe you're having you know troubles with your children. Um, but you know this can speak of a love offer, or it can speak of children, or it can speak of apologies, or something like that. So. It could be something um, from your childhood, not just only a past life. It could be maybe there's something from your childhood that needs healing that you haven't completely healed from. So some of you could be past life. Some of you could be something from your childhood. Okay, so what is... <clears throat> what is this share the message of love about for Pisces? So we've got the two of swords here. So this is about blockages and um, indecisiveness and not being able to make a decision. <clears throat> I need a drink, sorry. Being very, very indecisive and not able to make a decision. So this says share... The message of love rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy be mindful of each word that passes your lips so the two of swords here is about communication it's about thoughts clarity so yeah this is kind of like you know putting up your guard and you know blindfold is on putting up your guard so maybe you may need to be a little more guarded about how you speak and try to speak more in a um, more in a loving, compassionate, peaceful energy. If you know, swords can be kind of harsh and brash, so and kind of cold cutting. So maybe you know you need to refine your energy a little bit and be more in like a loving, caring, nurturing, giving, peaceful kind of energy. And I think it'll just benefit everybody here. It's like kind of raising and changing your vibration. For some of you. All right. So what is this inspiration about for Pisces? What is this inspiration about for Pisces? Wow. So the Ace of Wands here. So again, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Fiery, passionate, new beginning. Um, it can be love. It can be relationship. It can be a new project, endeavor, or, or something job here. And it's all about creativity also. Uh, the Ace of Wands can be something very creative. So something could be inspiring you to have this brand new beginning. It could be, you know, your faith, your spirituality. It could be friends. It could be family here. But somebody's giving you inspiration here to so maybe somebody you look up to that's going to help you. Maybe you need to look for advice, guidance from somebody on this new project, this new beginning, whatever it is for you. And they can give you the inspiration that you need to move forward in this divinely guided, new, um, exciting beginning for you. Wow. So 
You got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of big changes, I feel, coming for you. All right, so connections. What is that about for Pisces? What is connections about for Pisces? Wow, so we have the Tower moment here. Tower. This can be, you know, a breakup, shakedown, surprise, something crumbling down. Some of you may be ending some connections here that are no longer serving you. I'm getting with the tower moment here. There may be some connections you're thinking about that are no longer serving you, that maybe there's just a lot of um, conflict with those connections. Um, like I said, they could be just no longer serving you and Spirit wants you to know if you're thinking of ending some of these explosive connections that maybe it may be for your best good to do that. So what is this unity about? And also don't neglect some of your connections either because that may also cause this kind of energy. And as I say that the train's going by, this uh, disruptive energy, you know, people may get a little angry if you kind of like disconnect from them, you know, maybe not meaning to, but you know, it can kind of cause sometimes that animosity within people. So be mindful of that also. I'm getting stay connected to the ones that you love and cherish and trust and those that are no longer serving you. You may need to end those connections. So what is this unity about for, maybe you've been stress, anxiety here. If you've been worrying about that, ending toxic connections no longer serving you. I think spirit wants you to know you don't have to stress about it that you know, if it's something you need to do, just to do it here. So what is unity about here? What is unity about here for Pisces, please? Wow, Six of Cups energy. So this could be a soulmate. You could be reuniting with a soulmate. Wow, for some of you. Unity, you know, red here is love. So some of you could be reuniting with a soulmate coming up. Or people from your past you haven't seen in a very long time that you hold near and dear to your heart. It could be family members. It could be old friends uh, kind of energy because the Six of Cups is about um, those people, some people, places, and things from the past that you cherish and you look fondly upon, look back on with a lot of love and uh, appreciation. So again, could be reuniting with old friends, family even co-workers you haven't seen in a very, very long time, or some of you could be reuniting with the soulmate. Wow. So I guess you take whatever messages resonate for you there. So Pisces, before I go over the bottom of the deck, if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month for each sign. I do a spirit messages reading. I do a general tarot forecast reading. That's more of a general reading. I do a singles reading for those of you who are single who's coming towards you. And I also do a love connection reading for someone you have a connection with. So if you're interested in all that, please do hit the bell. You'll be notified and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Some bottom of the deck energy here. Yeah, 10 of wands. I feel like that goes over here. This is ending burdensome energy, no longer serving you. Laying down the burdens and endings. Tens are endings. So... If you have toxic, burdensome connections here that are no longer serving you, Spirit wants you to know you need to end those uh, ties. You need to put down those burdens. Three of Pentacles. So again, I feel like working and learning new things, working together, teamwork, collaboration. Um, it could be in this new beginning that you're going for, that you're striving for. You know, you could be learning something new, new job, new career. That sort of energy, working well with others. And now you have the, I think that is the page of ones, I think. That's the page of ones. So, yeah, it's the page of ones. So this is good news coming in. So you may be receiving some sort of good news and it could have to do with something over here that you're fighting for that you're waiting on, whether it's money or a job or something here. This is good news coming in, something you will be excited about. And then manifesting your brand new beginning here with the magician. 
brand new beginning, manifesting that brand new beginning for yourself. And now we have the King of Pentacles. So being stable, grounded, um, growth, abundance for your future, making your money, your pentacles, not having to worry. King or queen, doesn't matter. Yep. And manifesting that new beginning for yourself. Good news coming in. Working together well with others. Teamwork, collaboration. Maybe learning something new. Releasing things here that are no longer serving you. Okay. Wow, Pisces. A lot of messages there. So I hope some of them resonated for you. And best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.